Hell y'all. This video is going to be all about Venice and the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, The Road to 56. It could be the start of a Let's Play. Who knows? We'll see. With that said, The Road to 56 is a mod for Hoi 4 that expands the technology tree, extends the timeline to 1956, and adds a whole bunch of new focus trees to countries all around the world. By using the Serenissima Italy fragmentation game rule, we are playing as the most serene republic of Venice. And some backstory on Venice. In the Middle Ages and in the early modern era, they were very powerful in the Mediterranean. They were a trading republic. And what led to their downfall, they fought a lot of war with the Ottomans, I will say that. They, what led to their downfall was the fact when the Europeans started discovering the Americas, they could just go around the Venetians, who were kind of like the middlemen, so to speak. They dominated the Mediterranean. But when new trade routes were discovered, they sort of lost out on that because given their geographical location, it couldn't really be too much of a colonial power. And so they declined gradually, and by the 16th and 17th century, they were on their way out, mainly in the 18th century, the 1700s. They fought some more with the Turks. They had like seven wars with the Ottomans, and they would lose the Peloponnese. They would get back to Peloponnese, and they lost it again. And ultimately, in the late 700s, they were conquered by Napoleon. Well. Venice got occupied by the French, and then Venice as a republic ceased to exist. Its traditional leader, the Doge, which is like an elected person, a patrician, who would rule until death, they resigned, I think, if I recall right, I may be wrong on that, but Venice, after the French occupied it, kind of died as an independent state. They were then, after Napoleon left, they were then put into the Austrian Empire, and then eventually they would become part of Italy which is where they are today, and in 1936. Well, if this was historical anyway. But anyway, we're playing as Venice, and using that game rule I mentioned earlier, we have a lot of land that Venice historically controlled. This is like Venice at one of their most powerful times. The only thing we don't really have is parts of Greece, but it's cool we have Dalmatia, we have Zara, Istria, Latore, and Crete, as well as, I think, Rhodes, I think? Let me check, yeah. We have Crete and Rhodes. We have those islands. And what can we do now? In the National Focus Tree, let's do... What can we do? We have the ruling ideology of authoritarian, which for Road to 56 kind of serves the same purpose as the non-aligned ideology does in Hearts of Iron 4, vanilla Hearts of Iron 4. And we are an authoritarian state with Ogliarchic, with the Ogliarchy sub-ideology. An Ogliarchy is a form of government in which a group of people rules with absolute power. And because of that, in general, we have a lot of, well, that's, we have our own restrictions, we're authoritarian. And, but anyway, in our focus tree, let's complete, organize the government, and that will be done in 35 days. That says, to bring about change in the world, we need to change our own country. Strengthening our political position should come first, and we will get 200 political power out of that. And we have four research slots. We have a very different, well, sort of different, technology tree than we would usually in vanilla hoi 4 you have a srd technology tab now as well as more infantry tech but anyway let's get machine tools construction one and and electric electronic mechanical engineering and what else can we get let's get the can we get close here some more no we already have dive bombers research let's get flamethrowers research that's going to be done and as for our army, I didn't mention this earlier about our military, we have six divisions, four are infantry, one is light tank, one is cavalry, and I think these units came from Italy, they effectively gave these units to us. And we have a very powerful navy, we are a naval power, we have 13 fleets, although they're pretty small, some of these fleets are just one ship, and we have an air force, I think, yeah, we have a pretty decent air force, we have 13 air wings. And they're very small also. The majority of them are like five planes in a squadron or stormo or whatever in the air wing. We have eight casts, 48 fighters, 12 naval bombers, and 46 tactical bombers. Lots of tactical bombers. And what we're going to do with our army starting out is we have any commanders? We may not. We may just have... Okay, we have Corio Armelli. We have Arnaldo Azzi, Ricardo Fidel. These are, the, all of these guys are generic commanders. And to go through all of them, this guy, and the identity of all of these men, this guy is a generic, well, an unknown Soviet soldier. This one is Bert Reed. 
This one is John Bassalone, a U.S. Marine who was rewarded with the Medal of Honor, if I recall. And this one, I think, is a reenactor. And the source for this, I didn't, for this generic portrait, I think he was showing off some German clothing from World War II or something. But anyway, that's all of our starting generals, four generic starting generals, four commanders. And let's have them border Venice, well not border Italy and South Tyrol and all that. And let's have our navy all merge together to make this a lot easier for us to use them. Just make this less disorganized and chaotic. Do we have any starting commanders? Yes, we do. We have Alberto Verzara, Lizara, Desara, and Giuseppe Fiora Fanzel. That's our starting admirals. And I don't think they're gene generic. Our land commanders are generic. And we have some free civilian factories, just two. We're going to build up some factories in Veneto and Friuli. And they have the highest amount of infrastructure, so it might be good to build some stuff there. Let's get this division assigned to the military, to our army. Free military factories, just one. Let's get small arms, dockyards, convoys. No divisions in basic training. Let's we'll, We can get Camel Corps if we want to. We're not going to get them, though. Let's get some basic infantry divisions, a couple of them, a few of them. Missing equipment production. We do need to worry about that. Let's unpause now and just keep a close eye on the Italians. Once we get a surplus of, okay, Provisional Kingdom of Greece, we're not too worried about that. They're not ready yet. Once it is possible, who can we, do we, can we release anyone? We cannot. Well, we could release Croatia as a subject, but we can't do that. We do have cores in Zara, I think, but we have to worry about resistance in Dalmatia, Crete, and Rhodes. That is something we do gotta keep track of. And what we would like to do is ultimately, let me think here, we do have to keep track of what Yugoslavia is up to, because we are sort of a buffer state between them, Austria, and Italy. And Italy, besides, due to our game rule, this, the game rule we use, Naples also exists as an independent country, so does Sicily, so does Sardinia, and so does, well, I thought Corsica did, but they don't. But yeah, Sardinia, Naples, Sicily, they're all independent from the Italians, but the Italians are still in control of Libya, and I think the Italians are weaker due to the fact they gave us some of their divisions, well they have to be, and it looks like Mussolini is going to be pushed out of Africa, they're losing ground to the Ethiopian Empire, they lost Somaliland and Eritrea, well there's one unit still, one holdout in the port in Somaliland, staying alive, and they're going to probably lose Eritrea very soon it seems, unless something changes, we completed, what did we complete, we completed Organize the government. Now let's do the Lyon, Lyon Dai San Marco party. And what this does is give us higher base stability once it's done and strengthen the autocracy once it is complete, which once that happens, the autocracy essentially is going to give us a daily neutrality support for the ideology authoritarian 0.10% for about several years, honestly. Modify our government. Let's get maybe partial mobilization we'll do that and that's going to be done i don't know if it was worth it to do that or not that could have been a mistake but whatever military high command let's get the guy with army logistics with a military high command modify officer core let's get a theorist and that will be the military theorist land doctrine cost minus 10 percent because we have faustino faustino capello over here and the leon the dice and marco party will be done unless well it's only a 35 day long focus after it's done We'll do the Defenders of St. Mark and expand the terror. Well, we've got to get a bigger army before we can do that. We'll do Defenders of St. Mark and Internal Security Initiative. And, yeah, well, that's the plan for our national focuses at this time. We do have some decisions available. What's this about? We have Integrate Dalmatia. Let's do that. Make that a core after a few days. That will take some time, though. The Lyon Dice San Marco party is done. And let's do Defenders of St. Mark now. We have to decide to do Rally the Industrialist next. Or could we do that? I'm not entirely sure. We could have gone down the Fascist route, but I didn't want to do that. We could also have gone down the Communist route, or the Democratic route, but I avoided that as well. We're just going to stay Authoritarian, aka Non-Aligned. And let's speed up here. It's March 1936. The Italians have lost Ethiopia. Have they lost the Second Italo-Ethiopian War? Maybe they have. No, they are pushing harder now. They did gain back their momentum. Research slot available. Let's get mechanical computing. That will be researched 
and Defenders of St. Mark is a 35 day long focus. From it we will get the national spirit and militarism and that will give us a higher recruitable population and a less damage to our garrisons where we're dealing with resistance such as places like Crete and Rhodes and all that. We'll soon have a core on Dalmatia. That won't be an issue anymore. We just gotta have enough time to do that. That's gonna take like a hundred days. But yeah, militarism as a national spirit will aid us in fighting against resistance forces resistance forces in Crete and in the Dodecanese in Rhodes, although we have a hundred compliance strength there, but it's mostly for Crete. Prince Dumchugundungra declares autonomous Mongol independence. And that happened in Asia. And yeah, one of the puppets of Japan broke away from them and now they have a war goal on Japan. So I'm sure that's a little awkward for them, but I mean their army can't be that powerful, right? They only have what most according to, to our intel at most they have twelve divisions. And our focus tree now let's do let's complete internal security initiative. And what that's gonna do is change the popularity of fascism by minus five, change the popularity of communism by minus five, and we're gonna get national security act as a national spirit. That will provide us ideology drift defense, a higher recruitable population, and foreign subversive activities efficiency minus 25%, and minus daily communism support, and minus daily fascism support. And the description for this focus says, the Council of Ten has decided to arrest those deemed a threat to the Serenissima Republic. And Serenissima, if I recall, stands for the most serene. So La Serenissima is for La Serenissima is what you could call Venice. It was a nickname for Venice, I think. I could be wrong there. I will admit that. And we have more military staff positions we can fill out now. Let's get a cavalry. No, let's not get a cavalry military high command. That sounds too niche for us. And the focus, well, in the technology tree, let's get concentrated industry. I rarely ever get the second London Naval Treaty as we sign, whatever. I rarely ever get dispersed industry. We may regret not getting it. And in East Asia, the Japanese shogunate declared war on the Mongol United Autonomous Government. And Prince Dim Chugdung will probably regret declaring independence. Modify Officer Corps. Let's get a military high command. Let's get Giuseppe Solari, who is an army offense specialist. That is done. And after internal security initiative is complete, we'll do neutrality focus. Popular front victory in the French Republic, okay. And they are a left-wing group. So that's, I mean, I seem to be left-wing. And what can we do in the focus tree after we do internal security initiative? Do we have anything that would help with, okay, we'll do industrial effort. We'll definitely do industrial effort. To just build up our military and our economy as a whole because we do have a focus that will let us get a war goal on Italy which we do plan to use we've get a core on Lombardy we would attack Italy but we can't at this time because you see we don't have enough men to use to focus we need like a hundred and fifty thousand division well 150 men in the field we currently have 36k so obviously we need more and at this moment we have 40.69k manpower Let's try to get that lower and recruit more divisions. And this is the standard, I think, infantry template, infantry division template the Italians have. The Japanese shogunate and the Mongol United Autonomous Government signed a white piece, but they also lost the war, it seems. And this infantry division template, before I was talking about all that other stuff, has a combat with a 12. It has six infantry battalions and one engineer company. That is what our standard infantry division looks like at the moment. Research slot available. Let's do excavation one. Try and get out more resources at resources out of the ground. And internal security initiative initiative is nearly complete. We're gonna do industrial effort. Then we'll do renovate the railways, agrarian reform, and build military manufacturing to just build up our military, well our economy as a whole. Modify officer corps. Let's get a chief of the navy. Get anti no, yeah, let's get anti-submarine. We can't really afford to have a decisive battle guy. Because, to be honest, the Ethiopian Empire has capitulated, the Italians are done in Africa, and they're probably going to be returning home very soon. We may have to wait for Italy to be distracted in a, further, in a later conflict before we can attack them, which realistically seems like our best, best bet to strike. They could maybe fight Italy, I mean, Yugoslavia. Perhaps, what's this about? What is this event? The United Kingdom concedes to trade units. It may be going left wing, so we may possibly see... Due to the events of going on in France, we may possibly see 
a communist in the United Kingdom and a communist French Republic. Well, communist France. But like I was saying, we may need to wait for the Italians to get busy involved in another war before we strike ourselves. And hopefully, if everything goes well, they will fight Albania. Well, they'll occupy Albania, take control of that from King Zog, and they'll try to fight Yugoslavia. Then that will be our time to strike because the Italians will be busy over there. And since we're a buffer state, let's we'll start industrial effort now. Since we're effectively a buffer state for Italy and Yugoslavia, they won't be able to border Yugoslavia proper. And we're doing industrial effort. That will be done in 35 days. After that, we'll do renovate the railways. Or no, let's do. Let's go ahead and do build military manufacturing because we need more military factories, free dockyards, build more convoys. We only have what we have 40. We do need more convoys. And national Spain declared war on the Spanish Republic, and that is the. Spanish Civil War, National Spain versus Spanish Republic. And I think Road to 56, not to get distracted too much from the Spanish Civil War, but I think the Road to 56 mod added Andorra. Yeah, they did. The Principality of Andorra. I think it was a relatively recent addition to the mod, like, not too long ago. We have Modify Officer Corps. What, what can we do? Military High Command. Let's, I guess, do Artillery Specialist, or no, let's do Fleet Logistics. It's, I don't know, we don't really have much artillery and we don't have much of cavalry, so it might be good to just have military high command, one for the army, one for the navy, and one person for the air force. Let's do build military manufacture now. That will be done in 70 days. Well, not 70 days exactly, but you know what I mean. And the Italians have three divisions bordering us in South Tyrol. We have six divisions watching all of Italy. We definitely do have the manpower, I think, to build up an army fast. We just need more military factories to produce the armaments we need. We also need to probably manufacture trains, because I don't, if I look at this, we don't have, we have six trains, which we probably should have at least a few of them being made every once in a while. At least one factory on that. And we definitely won't be able to have an air force more than likely. Well, we have an air force, but it's just they're not going to probably be a huge element in any conflicts. I need to merge all these places together. Can I just, where are you guys at? Okay, I need to just take this whole Air Force and disband it. Disband all the air wings and just make a few, couple big ones. 48 fighters, put them together. That's done. 48, 46 medium bombers, and the United Kingdom is revisiting their colonial policy. Whatever the event says, they've gone insane at the bottom there. Medium bombers, let's put those together in one big group. And then we have the torpedo bombers, the Sparrow Viros, they're like they're carrier capable apparently and we have a few dive bombers eight of them so we might as well just put them all in one unit so there we go we consolidated our squadrons and now we just have four squadrons before we had too many and they were just too small of a size to be able to do anything in an actual war and push can to shove spirit of the academy let's do inventive leadership or no let's have bold attack let me think here Let's have bold attack. No inventive leadership. Goodness gracious, I gotta think here. Let's do bold attack. Yes, we'll do that. And for our focus tree, apparently, I mean, for our research, I mean, our military doctrine, we already have the grand battle plan doctrine, I guess, because we got that from Italy, maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Research slots are available. Let's get radio and research field anti vehicle kit. Can I get that, please? Yes, start researching field our anti vehicle kit. And for our air here, for our air technology, let's research the Sita so we can have Fighter 1 instead of biplanes. Modify Officer Corps. Let's get a air combat training guy for the Air Force, essentially. So there we go. Our military high command positions are all filled up. And so we'll have everyone there that we need to be there. Speed up, please. Speed up the game. And the Spanish Civil War seems to be going well for the Spanish Republic at this time. I mean, they have gained some ground and lost some ground. They are maybe losing some ground in the south. But it's probably not going to matter too much because typically the anarchists and Carlists show up just to ruin everyone's day. and just make that whole conflict a lot more complicated. So military manufacturing focus is done. Let's do agrarian reform. The Bulgarian government condemns the IMO. Okay, build military manufacturing is complete, so we'll have two more factories. Let's put them all on guns. So we are making around eight 
49, 850, 8.50 guns per day. Hopefully with those three extra factories in the production now, they'll be able to produce a lot more given enough time to get a high amount of production efficiency. Modify Officer Core. Let's get, who can we get? Air Force Command, Air Force Command. We'll get maybe Close Air Support Expert, we'll do that. And in Asia, well in China, there's now a war between Communist China and the Ma clique. The Chinese Soviet Republic is fighting them. And I think the Chinese Soviet Republic might win, honestly. I'm just going to say that now. Looking back to Venice, though, Excavation 1 is done. Let's start researching. Let's get Concentrated Industry 2, cause of focus. Oh, they signed a white piece. Concentrated Industry 2 is going to be started. And we had a, one of our focuses gave us a, what did they give us? It gave us a, let me see. It provided us with a technology bonus, like a 100% technology bonus. I believe we got that from industrial effort. Yeah, we're going to use that now. Recent Im immigrant influx, recent policy and good living conditions within most Serene Republic of Venice has created a recent influx of immigrants. Renewal of the Rome Protocols, that's intriguing. And But anyway, we're now going to get some immigrants coming into our territory. We get 3,674 local population increase in our state of Friuli, which is near Veneto, where our capital is located. So let's unpause once more. And the Rome Protocols could possibly signify that the Italians will ally with the Hungarians, maybe, or with Austria. I'm not sure about Austria, maybe Hungary, though. They will become an ally there, maybe. And it seems that the there will be no Nazi Germany just go around the German Empire is here. Maybe we could become allies with them. Could, you, could we join their faction? The Central Powers. We've got to have world tension to be higher. Imagine Venice and the Central Powers. That would be great. We could team up. They can get Austria. We'll help them with Austria, and they would help us with Italy. We just want Lombardy. That's all we want. Pretty much. I think that's all the focus gives us a core for anyway. We could probably take more, but with that said, okay, yeah, a little bit more than that. And we also will get, I think, a through our focus tree, we will get a war goal. We'll get cores on parts of one state of Yugoslavia and one state in Italy. So effectively, Venice in our playthrough, we are probably going to have to fight the Yugoslavians and the Italians. Agrarian reform is nearly done. We have 141,000 manpower at this point, and that is absurd, and we'll have a few divisions ready very soon. They're going to be available to us. Agrarian reform is going to be done. That's going to give us a couple civilian factories, and that gave us, yeah, that, a couple civilian factories and modernized agriculture national spirit. Let's complete. We're going to just skip renovate the railways for now and do renovation of the port of Majora, which, looking at that focus in more detail, it is going to say, it says, continuing to expand our factories will allow us to speed up the production of goods for trade and further construction efforts. And it will give us one naval dockyard in Dodecanese, Dodecanese and one civilian factory in Dalmatia. So Venice is improving its industrial situation. We didn't start off with the best one, to be honest. We have some a battle fleet designer. Let's not worry about getting the designer right now for our ships. Just don't worry about that for now. We do need to probably get a political advisor, like maybe... A captain, captain of industry would be useful to us in producing, well, building all kinds of factories, mainly civilian factories. That's what the captain of industries are good for, typically. And I'm really interested to see what the Germans will do. No clue what their focus is, but they are helping out the nationalists in the Civil War in Spain, it looks like. And the Spanish Republic is receiving help from the USSR. And usually, oh yeah, the Italians did send volunteer. No, they're sending Lynn Lease to the Nationalists, while the German Empire sent volunteers to National Spain, and the USSR sent volunteers to the Spanish Republic. Re renovation of the port of Majara or Maghara, Maghara will take some time. We have about 40 days left for that focus to be done. After that, let's complete, perhaps, build for the future. Then the Maghara chemical industry, maybe? I don't know. Concentrated industry, too. It's done. We could also try to get some investors from out of our country. Get the German investors, for example. That might benefit us. Or if we can boost our relations with them. We have some open technology slots. Let's start researching. Let's look here. Climate specific. Uh, let's get summer desert and jungle clothing in the infantry tab there. And also go to the SRD section here. And what do we research? Special Research Division. That's what it's called. The ENDS. Max Factories in the State. And what else is here? Army focus. 
let's just complete army focus for now. And that will give us more organization for our army. And we have a mechanized infantry tab, it seems, for this mod. Yes, we do. Let's research. Let's get an interwar artillery. And for the Air Force, let's get maybe anything. Can we get anything that we need here? What do we need here? I'm thinking. Let's research the Siona Cycogna bomber. That's a tactical bomber. And the renovation of the Port of Makara is nearly done. That focus is almost complete. Now let's do build for the future to get two civilian factories and a plus one three hundred percent research bonus for construction technology. Let's get a political device for now, and that's going to be the captain of industry, Luigi Zanella, Zanella, and he's going to be our only political advisor for the most serene republic of Venice for now. And how is our divisions doing being trained? Okay, it will take some more time. I need support equipment. I need to get them some support equipment. Take some uh, factory off of guns. Now you got to make support equipment. So we need 240 there. At least we'll be making it now, though. We're going to need more factories for sure. We definitely need more military factories. Will we get any more out of focuses, maybe? Maybe from inviting Ger German investors? Not entirely certain. We can get German heavy industry expansion, and that would give us two military factories. And yeah, from getting the German investors in the first place, we'd get one civilian factory and one military, or two military factories that we got to German heavy industry expansion. Let's go ahead and start improving our relations with the German Empire. They may like us because we're both authoritarian regimes, technically. Well, in terms of ideology, at least, we're both authoritarian. They're a monarchy. We're a non-aligned republic, essentially. And let's improve relations now. Ten political power to cost that. That will be the cost for improving relations, the initial cost, anyway. Then I think it's like 0 0.02 per day to do it. Yes. Yeah, 0 minus 0 0.20 daily for improving relations with the German Empire. Hopefully it will be worth it. And I will say this about the German Empire, it seems that the Rhineland is still demilitarized. Very interesting. And our focus tree, and our focus tree, build for the future is nearly complete. Free civilian factories. Build more civilian factories. We need more of them. Build them in Veneto, Friuli, and in Littoriel. Littoriel, that's going to be done. Build for the future will be ready in less than 20 days, and from it we will get two civilian factories in Friuli. And after that, let's complete inv invite German investors, and then maybe do some stuff that will give us research slots. Like, a, like five research slots for Venice will be pretty good. We start off with four, so I think having five would be pretty great. And yeah, we're going to do invite German investors for short. I'll take only 35 days, and German heavy military, heavy industry expansion will take 55 days. But let's start invite German investors as soon as possible. Many German corporations are interested in exerting their influences and presence around the world. We can use their good relations to us and appeal for a few humble investments. And from this we will get one off-map civilian factory and a one, well the Hindenburg disaster took place, one 100% research bonus for industry technology. Interwar artillery is done and so is desert and jungle clothing. That is complete. And now let's do improved machine tools as well as construction too, and we're using that research buff we got from, well that research speed buff we got for industry there for construction too, and it will be done in 35 some days. Yeah, slightly over a month. So that's a very good buff to that, and invite German investors will be done, given enough time. Can we get a ship, de ship designer? Oh yeah, forget the ship designer. Just don't worry about it. Xinjiang click declared war on Tonga to stand. That is happening, and they seem to be having a civil war there. Or, well, maybe they, they aren't having a civil war. Whatever, though. We got a division made. Let's add them to our army. Just put them near the border with Italy in the Spanish Civil War. And Nationalist Spain has gone a different path. The Tuba Independent Republic, there's a lot of stuff going on. I mean, a lot of stuff. Okay, that's crazy. That's pretty crazy. Everything's happening at once. The Polish Republic declared war on the Polish Republic. The Paris Universal Expo. Exhibition took place. Carlist uprising in the in Spain. Tuva Independent Republic leaves a common turn at Santa Tuva. Anarchist uprising in the Spanish Civil War. National Spain is doing doing something. And what's this about? The Polish Peasant Union is fighting against the Polish Republic. So that is 
they're both democratic, but one's the peasant, Polish Peasant Union, and one is the Polish Republic. So one, the Polish Republic, is conservative in terms of democratic sub-ideology, and the Polish Peasant Union is, what are they, democratic socialist in terms of their sub-ideology. And it seems they have Danzig as a puppet, the Polish Peasant Union does. But I'm going to end this video here. This has been part one for my Venice authoritarian slash non-aligned playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, Road to 56. You can check out the Road to 56 in the video description. The link to the mod is there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.